In the wake of ExxonMobil's new advertising campaign, which is clearly targeting electric cars in a very graphic way, saying unplug yourself and it's like you're stuck into the matrix if you get an electric car, well, it reminded me of a story that the media barely talked about. Amazingly, ExxonMobil predicted global warming almost exactly. Their predictions were better than those of NASA. I mean, not just a little bit better, but a lot better than NASA. But what's most interesting about that is that publicly ExxonMobil denied that global warming would ever exist or that it was a thing. But privately, their scientists predicted it almost perfectly. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans, and there's been some uh, renewed calls for ExxonMobil, which is obviously the oil giant, to stop lobbying against a cleaner world, a better planet. Now, many people are unaware of the many environmental incidents that ExxonMobil has been involved in. There was the Exxon Valdez oil spill, one of the biggest oil spills in history, which was created, of course, by ExxonMobil's super tanker. An Exxon Valdez oil spill resulted in the discharge of 11 million US gallons of oil into the Prince William Sound back in 1989. Well, not long later, 2007, Exxon had an oil spill in Brooklyn, Baton Rouge Refinery and Cancer Alley. There was another controversy there. I won't get into the details on that one. In 2012, Exxon had another oil spill. In 2012, they had a benzene leak, which they tried to cover up. Then they had a Yellowstone River oil spill, followed by a Mayflower oil spill in 2013. And none of that mentions their geopolitical influence, their constant lobbying. They have spent tens, if not hundreds of millions of dollars lobbying against any climate policies to improve the air you breathe or improve the oceans or improve the global climate. Now, from the late 1970s through the 1980s and prior to the merger with Mobile, Exxon funded research broadly in line with the developing public scientific approach. After the 1980s, Exxon curtailed its own climate research and became a leader in climate change denial. In 2014, ExxonMobil publicly acknowledged climate change risk, sort of. It nominally supported a carbon tax, though that support was weak. And one of the company's lobbyists admitted that ExxonMobil supported it only because it believes the tax will be almost impossible to implement. So publicly, they're sort of saying they support it, but privately, the only reason they're saying that they're aware is that um, they didn't believe it would ever be passed. Amazingly though, ExxonMobil's climate change controversies coupled with a 2015 email leak showing that Exxon was aware of climate change since 1981 sparked the inception of the Exxon Newitt movement. The Exxon Newitt movement was about Exxon's earliest roots, which are traced to a 2012 meeting of activist lawyers, and the movement has attracted donations and financial support from many, many thousands of people all around the world, and even a philanthropic fund affiliated with the Rockefeller family. Eventually, the movement and wide coverage of the email release led to multiple US states investigating the oil giant. ExxonMobil's efforts to dismiss litigation failed in Massachusetts, where that state's highest court ruled in 2022 that Exxon could, in fact, stand trial. ExxonMobil criticized the movement, claiming it was innocent. However, in February of 2015, it was revealed that climate change denier and scientist Willie Soon had been paid by several fossil fuel interest groups to just say whatever they wanted him to say. Greenpeace obtained documents showing that Soon had received a total of 1.3 million US dollars from ExxonMobil, Southern Company, the American Petroleum Institute, and a foundation run by the Koch family over a period of 14 years. And that's just the money we found out about. There's probably millions we don't even know about. The scientists described his studies to fossil fuel executives as deliverables and permitted anonymous pre-publication reviews. Soon advanced the widely discredited theory that changes in solar activity are to blame for climate change and called it a question the severity and extent of climate change in all of his studies, never revealing that he was backed 
by oil companies. So despite its very public denials, the oil corporation worked behind closed doors to carry out an astonishingly accurate series of bizarrely precise global warming projections between 1977 and 2003. This is according to a study published in the journal Science. Exxon didn't just know some climate science, they actually helped advance it, said Jeffrey Superin, lead author of the study and former researcher in the Department of History at Harvard University. They didn't just vaguely know something about global warming decades ago, they knew as much as independent academics and government scientists did. Arguably, they knew more. In a review of archived documents and memos, researchers found that scientists for then Exxon had completed a set of 16 models that predicted global temperatures would rise an average of about 0.4 degrees Fahrenheit or about 0.2 degrees Celsius every single decade. And they have. Since 1981, Earth's global average temperatures have risen approximately those numbers, 0.18 degrees Celsius per decade, according to NASA. Now, amazingly, researchers at Harvard University and the Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research found most of the ExxonMobil predictions or projections were and still are consistent with subsequent global temperature observations. Many of the Exxon projections proved to be more precise than those made by NASA. In particular, NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies, who famously testified before the US Senate in 1988 about the greenhouse effect. This analysis adds to a growing body of evidence that the nation's largest oil producer recognized burning fossil fuels was warming the earth even as it continued to heap doubt onto that notion publicly. The paper also showed, for the first time, just how precise and sophisticated the fossil fuel industry's own climate research was. When you've got a lot of money, you can fund scientific research that often tells you more than the experts know themselves. This Harvard-led study, built on previous academic research in addition to investigative reporting by Inside Climate News and the Los Angeles Times, that uncovered a tranche of internal company memos and demonstrating Exxon officials have known since the late 1970s that burning fossil fuels would lead to global warming. In one internal draft memo from way back in 1988, titled The Greenhouse Effect, a public relations manager detailed the scientific consensus about the role of fossil fuels in global warming, but wrote that the company should emphasize the uncertainty publicly so that people didn't believe that Exxon had anything to do with it. An archived presentation from 1989 from Exxon's manager of science and strategy development said, Data confirms categorically that greenhouse gases are increasing in the atmosphere. Fossil fuels contribute most of those increases. Fossil fuels are responsible for the majority of the CO2 being released into the atmosphere. Incredibly, less than 10 years later, in 1999, the year that Exxon and Mobil merged together, company chief executive Lee Raymond said future climate projections are based on completely unproven, bogus climate models, or more often, sheer speculation. In 2015, his successor, Rez Tillerson, who later served as Secretary of State under President Trump, also questioned climate projections involving the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. However, Exxon's own modeling from 1982 said that 600 ppm of CO2 would lead to 2.3 degrees or 1.3 degrees Celsius more global warming than 450 ppm, directly contradicting its CEO's claims. The analysis also found that Exxon scientists have projected that global warming would first become detectable at the turn of the 21st century. The Exxon scientists concluded that warming trends would render the Earth hotter than at any time in at least the last 150,000 years, debunking unfounded theories of global cooling and a forthcoming ice age. Now, despite such findings by their own scientists, company officials poured millions and millions of dollars into a public relations campaign to cast doubt on the science behind climate change. 
That campaign included prominent ads in the Washington Post, the Wall Street Journal, and the New York Times. Well, the funny thing is, it seems that ExxonMobil are back at it again, just in a different way. Now, the truth is they have lobbied behind closed doors against the adoption of electric cars. Now they're doing it publicly, claiming that if you buy an electric car, it's as good as having a cable stuck to your body at all times of the day. Well, I think most people are smart enough to not fall for that kind of crazy nonsense. But unfortunately, a lot of people are not. ExxonMobil, the sooner they go away and are disrupted by Tesla. What do I mean by disrupted by Tesla? Well, of course, Tesla's new supercharger network will eventually replace the large majority of ExxonMobil's gasoline stations in the US, which will be a welcome sight to see. And I don't think it matters what ExxonMobil says about EVs. They're here. And even most global car company CEOs are predicting that by 2030, more than 70% of all cars sold worldwide will be fully electric. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.